Hi there, it's Tim again with Far North Magic. Continuing on the jumpstart openings. Continuing on in this series of run or whatever. Searching for value. The first wave that I was able to get did quite well. So. I thought, okay, well, I will try a second wave, and this wave has gone pretty bad so far. Last box wasn't pretty good, but uh, overall averaging pretty bad still. So we got Minotaurs. So, not sure if these were all part of a case, though I got a case also. That I'll be opening, so I'll get to see if the case is any better. Rage Blood Shaman and Saturn Hulan General. Hulan General. And yeah, this one doesn't have the Herald Horn. It's a big miss not getting that one. That's, the horn's definitely worth more than a couple packs. We got Rise of the Dark Realms in Reanimated. reanimated. That's a good hit. We got Cats. Feline Sovereign as the rare. Next pack is a Chandra. Chandra Heart of Fire, the Incinerator, and then the Showcase. Now oh, Wizards. And that has a rip Riptide Lab, and not much else on that one. Let's so, start hitting something decent. We got Cathar's Crusade, that's at least a middling card. Covers probably place the pack. We got a little Liana. That uh, looks covers the pack too. Couple packs. Liliana Walker of the Dead. And then the showcase. The purple swamp. Yeah, vampires. Vito Thorn of Dusk Rose and a Blood Artist. That's pretty good. Even this thing, gift, Gifted Etherborn, something. Have to make sure you check your own comments. Get a bit of value from them, even. Sometimes hard to extract it, but. Almost always one good uncommon every set. We got a Serendib Befreet in Above the Clouds and Wind Reader Sphinx. Oh, that one's kind of a. That whole. All the variants of Above the Clouds are kind of meh. We got Minions. Kel's. Fight Fixer as the rare. That used to be worth quite a bit, like, like eight, ten the bucks at one point. I remember. Now it's a lot less. Good. Got Teferi. He's at least a hit too. Teferi, Master of Time, and then his Ageless Insight. 
showcase island. Where are we at? Halfway after this one. So we got spooky. Got Ogre Slumlord and Languish. Got plus one. Hoping for branching. That's a primeval bounty. Instead, it's a decent card. Archaeology. Got Scholar of Lost Troves. Kind of a not great pack. Oh, going for spooky. Going for round two of spooky. And this time we get a black market. And we got something on plastic. Static. Okay. That eerie swamp. Okay, last pack of the second stack is a devilish. So this is not going very good either. Zerzon Zer Zer Zerzoth Chaos Rider and yeah I don't know okay starting in on the final stack we're starting off under the sea pursued where I don't know they could have definitely put a second rare in this pack, like we got dogs, pack leader, just a pack leader this time. Jeez, mm, doggo planes. I think the basics worth more than the rest of the pack. It's crazy. Spell casting. These, these are been definitely pretty rough boxes. Double vision as the rare. I'm not really sure what to think of this. A dinosaurs. Galta this time. Four more to go. Got reanimated. Hopefully it's reanimate. This reanimate's worth a pack or two. Reanimate. That's the rare. Got dragons. To go one of two ways. Hopefully it is the terror, but I'm expecting a lapless. It is the terror of the peaks. That's a good hit. Cause that also comes with Dragon Speaker Shaman. Where I feel the both dragon variants should have the speaker shaman, but got two more to packs to go. We got heavily armored. Duelist Heritage. And High Sentinels of Arashan. This is the uh, last pack. And it's vampires. So. This run so far has been pretty rough. Oh, and Exquisite Blood. 
just as I was saying, it's not even close. We get an exquisite blood. So that's probably, probably close, at least on this one. Not Definitely not as good as the last one, but uh, just as, I guess. Uh, thanks again for watching, and uh, if you could like, share, subscribe, comment, and uh, hit the notifications bell, that would be awesome. And uh, thanks again, take care, and have a good day.